Howdy folks, Windsor here. Gonna start uh, with a showcase of my new update to the EMP mod. So we're gonna start with small arms, move on to larger stuff such as vehicle weapons, and then finally demonstrate the module at the end. So straight into it, let's kick off uh, with the EMP grenades. Um, this is where the mod started. Probably had the most work done on them. Now the, uh, the basic effect of all EMP weapons is it's going to remove your night vision, it's going to remove your radio, it's going to remove uh, electronics such as laser pointers, range finders and things. Uh, so on an infantry it's going to you know, just disable all electronics essentially. Uh, with uh, vehicles um, it's going to disable the engine, the turret, night vision. Um, so your weapon's still going to be able to fire but it won't be able to traverse up, down, left, right. Um, and it's going to lose night vision and uh, IR vision, uh, your thermal. Um, so it pretty much disables a vehicle in one hit. So uh, we'll start with um, the EMP impact grenade. So these are impact fuse that go off when they hit something. Um, so lob one over here. See where the uh, sparks were shooting across this, the hull of that vehicle. We know that that's disabled. If I head on over and check inside, have a look at the systems. So hopping in the driver straight away you can see that the engine and the turret are red. Uh, if I go to the gunner seat, you know, I look in, I'm moving my mouse left and right, I can't actually aim this. And if I try and toggle the night vision mode or thermal vision mode on, get nothing. So this is all you got, it's a camera and you can still shoot forward, you can still range the thing, but um, yeah, it's shooting in one direction only. Uh, so that's going to work on pretty much all land vehicles with all EMP weapons. Um, disables their lights as well, so if I switch over to... Shoot, I've grabbed the wrong EMX. Um, if I go over to one of these, I'll lob a grenade at them. Get an impact grenade. And the lights go out. Usually the guys inside uh, usually dismount as well if there's any uh, dudes sitting inside. Um, with these kind of lights, you know, any, any kind of land lights or anything. You get a cool little spark effect, yeah. So... seen the hand grenades. Now I will grab a MX3GL. So we've got three GL grenades and normal 40 mics. Um, three GLs just have three rounds per. Stock up on a few of those. Switch to the 3GL. Fairly simple stuff. It's so moving on from grenades. We have for weapons such as the M200 intervention, uh, we have seven round 408 rounds. Uh, so seven round mags, sorry. So grab some ammo for that. I'm not bother putting a sniper scope on a short range stuff. Um, more or less. Same size as the uh, grenade, maybe even a little bit bigger. This is an anti-material rifle uh, round. And you'll see it's got lovely blue traces. Actually, lovely blue traces. And we've got rounds for the GM6 Lynx as well, which is a 12.7 round. Five round mags. And same deal. And 
additionally we also have rounds for CSAT type 115 secondary so 50 Bundeswehr Bundeswehr? Is it Bundeswehr? I don't know what the DW is it's definitely not Bundeswehr that's Good fun. Now we have some fun stuff. Wars. It's the the eighty eight rounds. See, it takes out three vehicles in one hit. It's got an area of effect, probably that's about it. A uh, three car group up there. That's the Moors. Um, there is also EMP AT mines and EMP satchel charges. Um, I'll place these using Zeus so that we're right, not right next to them, and I can detonate them that way. It's a little bit faster. So if we pop into Zeus. Under empty, you'll find them under explosives. You can find the satchel charge. And under mines, you can find the AT mine. The AT mine, set that one off. It's a small area of effect, good for taking out a vehicle or two. It's going to hit all of those. Kind of like the uh, the moors. Now the um, satchel charge is a little bit larger. So we'll select that. And um, fireworks. So everything around here got taken out. Um, go down. Yeah, it's probably got about 150 meters area of effect, so all of this area got affected. So um, it's good fun. Now, moving on from small arms, we, we worked our way through all the small arms. We go on to vehicle weapons now, and for that, I've got a drone set up here. If I go into the turret controls. Uh, you will see that we have harm missiles, AGMs, cluster bombs, uh, laser guided bombs. So, starting with the smallest one is the AGM. I put the laser marker on. So, AGMs are the smallest vehicle weapon. Um, aim down at this one, drop one off. One, fucking cease fire! It's going to take out that vehicle, but the ones next to it, you know, they're going to be right. If you drop it right uh, next to a vehicle, it should be relatively safe. So, a direct hit's going to take your vehicle out, but if you drop it next to it, it's going to take out just an area. Uh, moving over to the GBU, which is the next size up, essentially. If I take the UAV controls, come around for a guided bomb drop. I'll just free drop it on these guys.
probably gonna take myself out. One. Fucking cease fire. Lucky. Okay. No, nope, got myself. Quick. Saved it. Here's your bomb going off. Now if we switch over to... Cluster bombs. These are a little bit safer for a uh, helicopter. They drop uh, you know, smaller missions, you're not going to get caught in the area. What? Check the goddamn fire. That can affect the large area as well. Now, if we switch over to the harm missiles. You'll see these have quite a large area of effect. And these can be radar or laser locked. Those vehicles were affected, so it's, it's a very large area of effect. If I dropped one down that end, so from there to about there, decent zone. Cheating. These guys are shooting me down because I've friendly fired so much. Anyway, uh, so that is most of the vehicle weapons that you fire from aircraft. Moving along, we'll get rid of these chokers. Down this end, you'll see that I have some systems set up. Have 12 rockets each, six of them are high explosive EMP, and six of them are cluster. Very similar to the cluster munition you just saw dropped from the helicopter there. So we're going to set up a target. Over here. Oh, whoops. Create a target. And we'll fire those ones off first and give them a decent spread so we can good enough. Yeah, his work like a normal 
in my Larius. Those are your large ones, and now cluster munitions. Quite pretty. So that's your MLRS. Uh, there is also optionally a mortar, uh, which demonstrate turrets. So this is optional. Um, details are in the mod description on how to add it. Um, so it modifies the original base mortar and adds EMP rounds to its magazines. So if I get this bloke. Actually, no, we'll get a few of them. Same thing, fire mission. Tell them to use the MP shells. Um, eight rounds each. There's, I think, 24 rounds maximum for them. Same deal. Yep, cool. Yeah, but mortars are optional. Um, you have to enable them. They're not enabled by default. So I think that covers most of the weapons. Uh, the only final thing to demonstrate is the EMP burst module, which uh, has had a bit of an overhaul. Um, so we'll drop it on the same spot. Get rid of the HUD overlay. We'll do it over here. Now it has a build up before it detonates.
lights. Um, got a little bit of a glowing orb in the middle, pulsing away. Yeah, better effects overall, I think. It should be a little bit smoother. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Windsor. Uh, hope you enjoy the mod. Peace.